What's up everybody? This is Scott from TheLeftToMetal.com and it's time for another edition of The Mail. And this edition of The Mail is brought to you by The Harmless Rebel. Steve, The Harmless Rebel. And uh, if you don't know who The Harmless Rebel is, well, click on the link below and check him out. Uh, Steve uh, is a cool cat and he shows a lot of good stuff. Uh, hard rock, metal, classic rock, a little bit of everything. Uh, even some, you know, modern rock and uh, yeah. He's a cool guy, so check him out. Uh, Steve and I do a lot of trading back and forth, and um, we don't really ever say, you know, hey, I got this for you, you will you give me that? It's just, uh, dude, I'm sending you a big old box of stuff. <laughs> dude, I just sent you a big old box of stuff, um, which is exactly the case here. So uh, he may have told me what was in here, but I, I can't totally remember anything, to tell you the truth. So it's gonna be a surprise for everybody. So live opening. Uh, did not pre-open this box, so I got my handy knife, and we're gonna slice this puppy open right now as I am her arm and try to fill up the time. Um, <laughs> and uh, here we go. All right, so what do we got in this in this box? Uh, there's actually quite a bit in this box. Uh, wow. All right, so what are we having here? A sticker. <laughs> Listen naked, Mojo Music. Awesome. I'm gonna get this to my wife. See what she thinks. And uh, this is one of my all-time favorite albums. Hope you dig it. I actually have have the Jesus on the inner tattooed on my arm. Mad Season Above. Well, cool. I've never heard this album, so we'll check it out. This is Mad Season Above on CD. And for anybody who knows me, knows that I collect both CD and vinyl, as you can obviously see behind me. Uh, ooh, this is a cool one. I don't know who this is, but it looks cool. Pleaser. A CD. This is, looks cool. I, mean, I have a feeling it's going to be like, your, it looks to me like it's going to be either straightforward 80s metal or some kind of 80s glam sleeve stuff. Either way, I like both, so we're good to go. And this is freaking awesome. Uh, I have tons and tons and tons of Aerosmith CDs. I mean, I have one of these whole full rolls and then another row full of nothing but Aerosmith over there. And eventually I'll do an Aerosmith video and this one will end up being in it because we have Aerosmith. This is a Japanese issue of um, the best of Aerosmith Superstar Collection. And uh, yeah, Japanese, you can see the back, the songs are all in Japanese or something. <laughs> Some kind of oriental text, I can't read it. But uh, either way, that's cool. Um, I am an Aerosmith fanatic and own tons of Aerosmith stuff. And then uh, Slick, Toxic, Smooth and uh, deadly. Uh, another one. I've not really heard this one, so I'm looking forward to check it out. Uh, all these will be reviewed on nolatilmetal.com. So uh, anybody who uh, knows my website, check it out, because I'd say within the next month or two they'll all be there. So and then there's a couple of vinyls in here, a couple of records, and uh, Def Leppard, Power Mania. Um, I own the first two Def Leppard albums. I own an EP. I own. Uh, um, a bootleg of their early stuff before, you know, uh, High and Dry and um, One Through the Night, but I uh, didn't own this one. Honestly, I, I do like this album. I think there's some good material on here, but I think this was the beginning of the end for them. Uh, it was, you know, uphill and then they, they hit Pyromania and it was just a downward dive from there. Uh, misuse of technology. It became so plastic, it bored me. Um, Hysteria, I think, is just one of the worst albums ever recorded. Uh, but this is actually a good album. It is very highly produced, very 80s sounding and very dated sounding, but there's some great songs on here nonetheless. Um, so yeah, Def Leppard, Pyromania. And uh, what else is in here? Oh, right on. I did know this. You asked me about this one. Hanoi Rocks, uh, Two Steps from the Movie. From the movie. <laughs> uh, this is, um, of course, everyone knows Hanoi Rocks. Uh, I never understood how they got the, the uh, whole, they're not really even a metal band, they just got this own, almost a punk style to them, and it's uh, just hard rock. Um, very influential band as far as like the whole LA scene, um, but they never really got too big. Doesn't matter, I enjoy their music nonetheless, no matter how big they were. Um, yeah, obviously their, their look was a huge influence on, you know, uh, all, those, all those bands that came out of LA in the mid to late 80s, so... Uh, yeah, Hanoi rocks. So that's it. Um, as if that's not enough. That's awesome. Steve, you rule as usual. And uh, as you might know, I have a box already on its way to use. So uh, 
check it out. Uh, that's it for this edition of The Mail. God bless. Stay strong. Not to intrude, but you intrude.